Hey, welcome back to some more Minecraft, everybody. This is Dallas here. Where did I put... Oh, it's in here. You know what? I'm actually going to use this today. For my own experiment. I want to see how long it lasts with just a base tool. So, as per usual, nothing really planned today, but I do want to build a lot today, so you can look forward to that. I have been working in here, by the way. Specifically a room that'll make me come in here a lot. So I want the nether in here and this other room because I don't want this to be an abandoned section where I'll never come in. I want it to have a use but have an uncontrolled infection that I can't seem to get rid of. So I have a big room in here I am carving out and I love how it looks, but, but it's another project we're gonna have to put aside because of a bug. And that bug, I'm not gonna, well, why not? Just to show you that bug, where are they? is, as you can tell, I was going to make a giant map wall in here. This is going to be like a, a comm center. Um, you know, like those big government rooms. Maybe like even a NASA launch room that has a big map on the wall. I'm going to have a bunch of terminals in here. Make a map. Oh, it's automatically 4 to 4 scale. Come on. So we got to put that on hold. And I just now noticed. Do you see that? I didn't know Bedrock has that. All the glowstone is different. So it adds random textures. I kind of like that. All right, so making a room right here. This is going to be where we study the crimson and the warped forest. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing too much in the nether. Because I realize not even all the stuff has been added yet. So I don't want to explore too much or go anywhere until they add all the new stuff. I've also been working in here. This was going to be the office section. I still think it might be. But I was decorating it after the NBC show, The Office. Didn't really like it a whole lot. So... Um, I'm kind of just making it look more simple. This is going to be another part of the lab. i got to figure out what I want to do with it. But now it is time to make my office. Finally. Oh, I didn't even think of that. By the way, oh, first time using a netherite pick on a diorite wall. What the? That was a little slow. <laughs> I think the walls are just like that. Should I make my office round? Huh. So yes, I want to design my office, but where should I put it? I always imagined it somewhere around up here in the front. Maybe in like one of these areas. Okay, so behind this wall we have a little room right there. But over here we have the block study room. How far is that over? Actually, that wouldn't get into the way too much. How big is... No, this one won't either because I turned it that way. Okay, I'm going to do that. I got to decide which side though. Decisions. This... Pick feels weird. Am, oh, am I just... Yeah, I think I'm too used to having an efficiency diamond pick. This is going to be slower than an efficiency diamond pick. But it just feels... Bleh. I, I think it's a little faster than a diamond pick. But it just feels like a d diamond pick. <laughs> Alright, I chose this side. It just felt nice. I don't know why. I don't know what decides that. I just look at it and I'm like, huh, I like that. So, um, this is going to be an interesting build. It's going to be diagonal office. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to have to pull off a miracle, I guess. I'm going to have a large glass panel, I think. I already gave up on the netherite pickaxe. We're going to enchant it and then use it. Because you always want to use the fastest tool in your inventory. So this is what I'm coming up with. It's going to be a rounded office, kind of following the design of this place. It's a pretty big office. And then right here, I'm going to have a giant window, so we can actually let natural light in for once, and I think that'll look pretty good. I don't know if the offset window not being... Well, there's a mountain over here. I don't want to clear all that out. And again, you don't always want to be symmetric, so... I think I'm going to use light gray stained glass, although gray or black also looks good. But now I just need gray dye, and believe it or not, when you don't have ink sacs, it's kind of a hard dye to come across. Actually, you need flowers. Aha! Need daisies and these. What are these called again? Azure. Bluette. What's that? Hello. Holy crap, a whole iron zombie. I haven't seen that. Oh! Oh my god, I remember this. Old pocket edition stuff. And I know it's down here too. Wait. Wrong area. <laughs> god, he's strong. It'll be right here then, right? No, wait. 
Yeah, well, I know exactly. Ah! Hey, gunpowder, I need that. Now, I remember finding this. Is that glitched? Of course it is. Oh, actually, it may not be. I think there's a bug right now where it doesn't show it, but I remember finding this cave system with the old TNT glitch. You put TNT in the ground, you hop in a minecart, right over it, hop out of the minecart, and then fall in the TNT, and you're in like a... You're in an x-ray glitch. Oh, yeah, and we found a mine shaft. Did we explore all of this? Oh, my God, we didn't. Wait, what? Yo, I'm finding some dark spots. Did I really not explore all of this? There's probably not much in here anyway. This was before name tags and all that, so the loot was never really that good. You looking for a job? I need some scientists. Are you smart? No? Okay. Oh, my Lord. I missed a lot. Oh, I can't be switching back to job and bedrock like this. I keep forgetting which is block and what's not block. Huh. What is that? Oh, it's wood. I thought that was a beehive. <laughs> this is a strange area. And what the heck happened? I thought I was building a lab. How did I get here? I think when I originally found this, I only explored about 20% of it. And look at here. Whoa. No. Is this real? Stop. Not the time. Oh, man. It's cut off. I know I'll need cobweb in the future. Might as well think ahead and gather it now. Alright. Where were we? Oh, flowers. How does that look? Yeah, I feel like that looks all right. I may go darker in the future. Matters how the room ends up looking. All right, there she is. I actually really like it. I wanted my office to be grand. And I think this is big enough. Now this place is just gonna hold my documents mainly because I have a book, uh, it's probably my ender chest, for the lab. And then we can also put other things in here like personal things. So, um, Put a little incubator thing over here. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I'm not going to put another one of them. Because that would just be too many. I'll think of something special. Maybe another dragon egg. I have two of them. I don't know if I'll put another one over here. I think I'm going to put a big map wall here. Once I fix it. <laughs> and then right here. I'm actually going to put an iron door here. And then we're going to make a garden. Because this is a luxurious office. For me. We're going to make it look nice out here. So when we're sitting at our desk. Which I think will be right here or here i don't know we can see some nice things the loom there it is i love all these different tables they're adding to the game do you guys like it by the way because sometimes i even forget i really like it i hope they keep adding more ways to craft different things but i think this is going to be the limit um but i've been continuing to work i'm starting to design it now look at this i am absolutely in love with this little desk i did the little l-shaped desk got the grand high back chair normally i would just have barrels for storage but since i did an l shape you can have more room for other stuff add in cartography table forget what it's called and it looks like you have a little map and a compass crafting table there got my documents in the back of course because we're studying things uh i just want to replace a few of these with some looms boom wrong way wait can these be placed directionally oh yeah you can sweet Wait. Now I want to note, is that which side? I wonder if that side could be used for something. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Oh my god, that almost... Whoa! The top almost looks like piano strings. Even put up the big map right there. I love that thing so much. And if you're always curious about these, this is just a custom texture pack. I had these back in my pocket edition. It's just custom paintings. I don't know the name of them, and I don't know where to find them. All I know is I had them in my camera roll for years, so that's where I got it from. Back here, I'm going to put a little tiny room for a bed in case I need to sleep. Um, but I want to go out here and build this garden. Now, I'm thinking of some a water spot right here, and I want to put the Slime Science Center logo right there, right in the center. I think that would look cool. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Lamp. That's a lamp. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe. Or it could be something else. It looks scientific, doesn't it? I could put a full... Hmm. Hold on. 
That didn't look half bad, but no, no. I kind of like this. I had to take one of my security cameras for this. Maybe it's a camera. Take a look at that. I kind of like that. That's positioned well, I believe, because you want to be able to see it from in here. And I want it to glow. So I'm going to put some water around this, and then we can make this place look pretty. I'm also going to pretty up this a bit and make it look like some of the dirt is hanging. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what I should do with that. You know, I've been starting to think ever since I tried out this world in Java. Is that Ollie? Oh, I left him here. <laughs> it is going to be a devastating day when they make lighting just like Java. All this is going to have to be redone. I still don't know why they did that, because as you saw in that video, torches no longer passed through slabs in Java Edition, so we're likely it still happens, and I need to do it in here because I'm having some mobs spawn in here. Okay. I want to throw that right there. Boom, check a lock. There we go. Um, I think that looks nice. Now, I don't want to do a whole lot out here. I kind of make like making it look natural, so I'm going to put a little path for some benches over here, maybe. Okay, I'm going to take a break on this place. Mr. Dr. Professor Dallas, of course. Gotta let him know. I'm going to go enchant this, I decided. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to use it if I have better tools, so I might as well enchant it, right? So we have an option for Unbreaking 3, but I definitely want Efficiency 4 on this thing, so I'll do Buck. Oh, please change. Yes. <laughs> this game hates me. And I am going to go ahead and assume that I have no, what? Oh, 1B. Oh, that's on the other side. <laughs> No one breaking books. That's not it. Oh, close. Well, I don't feel like enchanting books forever, so maybe we'll catch our luck, literally, with the fishing rod. I also want to put a silk touch on it, too, so all I need is... I'm not going to... What am I thinking? I'm not going to get them breaking from this. That was fast. All right, I already give up. I got a flame one, though, but I just thought of something. I want to try to get efficiency 5 on this thing. That'll be a little overkill, but it seems so cool. Okay, so we're going to do... Actually, I'm level 31, so let's do one level 1 enchant. Sharpness 1. Okay, now... Wait, what's my option for this now? Sharpness 3. Dang it. <laughs> we're going to do one level 3, and now we're just going to do a bunch of level 1s until I can't anymore. And hopefully we get, like, two unbreaking 2s. Just... Why, why does unbreaking have to be so rare? Oh, I'm breaking. Please, one more. Oh my God. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. I'm breaking one. Oh, we did it. Oh, there's an anvil. All right, so we just throw them two together. Wait, can you get rid of knockback if you do it that way? No. Unbreaking. God. These things are made out of freaking iron. How do they break that easy? Here's one. Nah, it's been in there forever. I can't break that. <laughs> okay, I found an Efficiency 4 book. Now, this is the part where I'm not too knowledgeable about this. I have no idea which way in order I should do this. I don't know if I should combine all the books first and then throw it on this, or combine the books one by one. Oh, that's risky. Actually, that's only level one. Efficiency 5. Oh, there it is. You know what? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then if we throw these together... Level seven, level seven. Why is that so expensive? Well, I guess I got to do it like that. And then level, fi okay, 15 levels, and then we'll have that. I'm down with that. And I know you're like, put mending on it. No, no, I don't even have a mending villager and I don't feel like fishing for it. So yeah, <laughs> this is my cheaty way of getting XP right now. I have so much of it, so. Pretty awesome. I still need to make my little XP office in here. Level 16, and I think it would be fitting to use this anvil right here. This anvil has been here since the beginning. Let's hope it doesn't break. All right, level 15, now I gotta think of a name. You know what, that'll do. Old reliable, I was trying to think of something off the top, like Satan's toenail. <laughs> oh no! Well, dang. Well. 
Dang. <laughs> that anvil got to go on one of the best picks in the game, so... Rest in peace. <laughs> you know what I'm starting to think, though? Maybe I should put mending on this, because I put mending on the Minesweeper, because I think that was my first enchanted diamond pick. This is my first netherite pick. Maybe I should, but I don't know how to go about that. I would have to do a lot of villager breeding and trading because you can't see their book trades until you trade all their first oh it's so annoying now ah <sighs> i want mending though you know it'd be so cool if this was like an insta mine without a beacon oh dang it <laughs> dang it dr bane dr bane is this you dr bane yes how you doing i'm gonna make you an office soon you like that where are you i'm trying to talk to you i need to go ahead and trade with him anyway because i want him to stay as a librarian all right, I'll be back. What? I wonder if I can make it out that hole. I think I could. It's enough practice and agility. Ugh. 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 Oh, that was close. Hi, guys. Back bait. Power five. Oh, wait. I just got. I thought that was efficiency five or something for a second. <laughs> Power vibes, okay, whatever. Get me, Dr. Bean, that's your last trade. It better... That... That's not even that much. Uh, this one. Here we go. Efficiency one, eh? Hey, Dr. Bean raised his prices like a little douche. All right. All right, the next ones are unlocked, and... Oh, wait. Isn't there a... Is there a master trade? You white kitty. Have some. Come here. Oh my god. Oh, I've never seen a white kitty. That's so crazy. Whoa, how many different color cats are there? I could have swore I've never seen a white cat. That has me curious now. Why'd they get rid of looking at achievements from in game? That's kind of annoying. Like, where even is it? Profile? There. Jesus. Oh, wait, they're gonna add new achievements with the nether, too, aren't they? Befriend 20 stra. Okay. I got a lot to go. <laughs> Wait a minute. <sighs> I almost made the same mistake again. Well, I didn't make a mistake. I meant to put mending on my minesweeper. It's just, at that time, I didn't realize my minesweeper had silk touch on it, so I would have to go to an XP farm to repair it every time. And I don't want to go through the same process with this. I should have put fortune on this. Okay, screw it. I'm not going to do that. But I still want to try to get a mending book just because... It's been a while since I've had one. It'd be nice to have one on the side for the future. Look at our vault. No iron, no gold. Jesus. I used to have a goal where I'd want this. You know what? I still want to do that. This place, I want it to be filled. I want to barely be able to walk in there one day. We're going to have to start storing netherite in there too. Oh yeah, netherite blocks. <laughs> okay, yeah, Dr. Bean's master... Shh. What did I just trade? What just happened? I don't even know. I think I just bought a bookshelf. <laughs> His master trade is that. That's I have enough of those. Fire protect. What's that one? Oh, you're not gonna tell me. I have to figure it out. I'm yeah, keep cycling. I don't care. This is far more superior than those ugly looking blocks. Well, that's a creeper face. I forgot about that. Oh, that's so cool. No. What is it? He still won't tell me. Wait, what? Oh, it's this one. Punch two. Oh, that's 39 emeralds. That means something good. Oh, this other dude has unbreaking one. That would have been nice to know earlier. <laughs> you know what? Give me a few. All right, I have to trade with these two buttholes. And whoever ends up having the best last trade will get the right to be called Dr. Peter. Huh? Can I buy that? Oh, you raised your price on me again, uh, douchebag. Uh, one more. Come on, come on, come on. God dang it. God, I hate this villager trading. I don't care what you say. I don't care what anyone says. This is the worst thing that happened to villagers. <laughs> Did I waste my time? Smite? Smite. Last guy. Let's see what he unlocks. Oh, God. Here we go. Nothing. Feather Falling won, but he does have an Unbreaking book. So, that said, you can be called Dr. Peter. Wait, you're the same guy, right? There you go. I just called him that so I can holler out at him like, Hey, Peter! 
Hey, Peter. He's not listening. <laughs> Tend to my garden after a rough day at work with Peter and Bean. Bean buttholes. Today's comic question of the day comes from... Oh, crap. Hang on. The Gaming Creeper. Do you feel this virus like a zombie apocalypse? It just reminds me of some stuff I've seen online. See, I feel like people got so used to all these movies. Like, they almost want it to happen. <laughs> Whoa. Where's my bed, Scarfield? And that's pretty sad how you can get influenced that much to the point where you want a huge disaster to happen. I guess some people's lives are just so boring that they need this to happen. That's why some, huh, some like, people that prep, like, I mean, it's okay to prep, but, like, some people go overboard with prepping. Um, such as when they hear the news about the coronavirus outbreak, they go up and stock up on ammo and body armor. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's a respiratory flu that, yes, may hurt and kill a lot of people, but, I mean, it's not going to start a war. <laughs> Some people can go way overboard like that, so, no, I don't see it like that. I see it as a sickness that is plaguing the world, and the doctors are struggling to find a vaccine for it. Even though they are, I've read up some stuff where they're actually already coming up with a vaccine but it has to go through testing you have to put it in humans and then wait to see what happens like the side effects because you can't just make a vaccine that works fine it works fine you put it in it works fine but then put it in everyone and then realize five to ten years later it causes cancer or something like that so it has the vaccines have to be tested so yeah, that'll be that. Thank you guys for watching today. I thought it was kind of fun building my lab office. I've been meaning to do that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of either this or Nomadic. Again, I said it's going to be every other day. They're both uploaded, but it's just one might be uploaded twice in a row. Just matters whatever I'm feeling at the time. I'll see you guys later though. Bye-bye.